Okay, we're continuing our discussion of hyperbolic functions, and we've already talked about and introduced uh, hyperbolic sine, cosine, and tangent, which we called cinch, cosh, tanch. And now there's something important to discuss, and that is these identities that we see here. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight them. So if you are considering cinch, there are equivalent exponential expressions and they look just like this and there's a few variations of this but this is you know in general what it looks like so the cinch would be e to the x minus e to the minus x over 2 the cosh would be e to the x plus e to the minus x over 2 the tanch very similarly related is a combination of the two which is the cinch divided by the cosh and then of course there's others but we're going to go ahead and use this concept and the fact that if we have the cinch of x that x is actually what's get what gets replaced into this exponential expression the equivalent exponential expression so we're going to try to rewrite this okay so we're going to rewrite this expression that we're given in terms of exponentials and then we're going to simplify our results so if i have my cosh all right and it's 10 cosh of the natural log of x i'm going to take this right here to be kind of like my u if you will and i'm going to fit it into the identity for cosh and that is to say that i need to know the rule for cosh so i'm going to take 10 i'm going to multiply it okay by the rule for cosh which is e to the x plus e to the minus x over 2 but instead of x i will write whatever my u is in this case it's the natural log of x and so e to the natural log of x plus e to the negative natural log of x all divided by 2 and then of course multiplied by 10 out in the front is what the expression the exponential expression would look like and so what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, now apply my rules for exponential and logarithmic functions and that is that e to the natural log gets rid of itself and the same thing happens here of course this negative comes up to the top as a minus one for the exponent. So what this looks like is 10 over two multiplied by x plus x to the minus one, okay? And so just to finish this off here, we're going to have five times x plus one over x. And I think it's actually okay to leave your answer like this of course you could distribute the five but i don't think it's necessary so we'll leave it like that all right let's go ahead and take a look at another example we'll call this one number five and this next one we'll take a look at the cinch okay the cinch of four times the natural log of x all right and see how that turns out all right so equivalently we have e to the x minus e to the minus x over 2 by the formula that was given the equivalent exponential expression so let's see what this looks like well i think the first thing we need to do is rewrite using the laws of logarithms and that's going to say cinch equals or i'm sorry this equals the cinch of the natural log of x to the fourth power so we bring that power up very similar to what we did for the negative exponent in the last problem but now that we have let's say our u if you will okay which looks like this we can write it using the exponential expression that was given for cinch so we're going to have e to the natural log x to the fourth power and then uh, minus e to the negative natural log of x to the fourth power okay and it looks just like that and so again that negative exponent comes back up to the top making that an x to the minus four and then all of this is going to be divided by two just by the rules there all right so the e to the natural log again gets rid of itself all right we're good there so what do we have we have a one half on the outside we have x to the fourth power minus x to the minus four and really only thing you can do to clean this up a little bit 
it's just rewrite everything using positive exponents. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. All right, but other than that, we are pretty much done with this problem. And that's the answer there to rewrite it. And let's take a look at one last example, call it number six. This one is going to take a look at the cosh of, let's say, 5x plus the cinch of 5x. And this is going to be nice because now we've got to combine two sets of identities. All right, so we're going to look at each first in isolation using the rule for cosh and the rule for cinch. And then we're going to add them and combine like terms and all that good stuff. So let's see what this one looks like. This one right here. This one right here is the case of e to the 5x plus e to the negative 5x, okay, divided by 2 plus, and then now we look at this case of cinch. So this is going to be e to the 5x minus e to the negative 5x, all divided by 2. And the beauty of this is that it's it has the same denominator. So we are in really good shape because now it's just a matter of adding things on the, in the numerators and combine like terms. So if I see here, the e to the minus 5x actually will cancel itself out there. And I am actually left with two of these e to the 5x's divided by two. And then through division, we get rid of that two, leaving us with our final answer of e to the 5x, okay? So really nice and really simple. Again, applying those identities that we know for the hyperbolic functions with equivalent exponential expressions. All right, so really nice. Just use what you know, the formulas, and you'll solve your problem really quickly. As always, I hope this video was helpful, and remember, like and subscribe.